Now, Thomas White is the director of UNRWA Affairs in Gaza, joins us now live from Rafah. Good to have you with us, sir. I'm sure you've heard the news of people queuing up, waiting for aid, ending up being killed. How on earth is it possible to distribute aid to help people when you have civilians in this kind of situation dying under fire? I mean, it's already been very difficult to get aid into the north of Gaza. Uh, it's required us coordinating with the Israeli army uh, to cross into the north of, of, of Gaza. You know, the large majority of our requests for safe passage to the north have been denied. When we've moved into the north, of course, people up there are already desperate. Uh, you know, people are starving in the north and they are desperate for this aid which makes it very difficult for us to, uh, to run uh, distributions in, in the north. Uh, now, you know, we're waiting to get the reports from our team, but, you know, what we've seen today uh, is going to make it very difficult for the UN uh, and humanitarian partners to get any aid uh, into the north of Gaza, and people up there desperately need this aid. And, of course, it's not just the north. We had the targeting of a an UNRWA-administered building, a training centre. And you spoke this morning, I think, about the persistent targeting of civilian sites. What does that mean for the humanitarian situation in the South, too? So in Han Yunus, uh, there's been intensified fighting in the western parts of Han Yunus in the last few days. Uh, we have been warning uh, all parties to the conflict that they need to ensure that they protect civilians are in that area. Uh, for UNRWA alone, in our shelters in that part of Khan Yunus, we had over 90,000 people taking shelter under a UN flag. And, of course, there are other protected sites in this area, most notably the NASA uh, medical complex. Uh, what we're seeing uh, yesterday is a direct attack upon uh, the Khan Yunus Training Centre, the UNRWA Khan Yunus Training Centre. Tragically, 13 people were killed in that attack and 56 people are uh, injured, uh, 21 of them still in a critical condition. Um, what we're seeing today is uh, the Israeli ground forces are uh, in uh, Western Han Yunus and they are telling people that they have till five o'clock tomorrow afternoon to leave the area. Uh, and we are already seeing tens of thousands of people, you know, leaving Western uh, parts of Han Yunus, uh, coming down onto the coast road, uh, and heading towards Rafa. Are you concerned, Thomas, about that? Because we've seen people being killed on the coastal road too. We've seen people leave Khan Yunus and go to Rafa, and Rafa herself coming under fire. I I exactly. Uh, you know, we are very worried about, you know, the safety of people as they exit uh, Khan Yunus. Uh, for example, you know, the day before, uh, people who were in uh, and around Khan Yunus Training Centre were told that they could exit uh, along a particular road by the Israeli army. Uh, and in fact, that road had two uh, uh, Israeli army tanks on it. So there are, there are concerns for people as they, they leave this, this fighting zone uh, in Khan Yunus. But of course, that's not where their, their challenges end, because the question for them is then, where do they go that's safe? No, Thomas, in that sort of situation, I'm curious since you mentioned that, do you communicate with the Israeli authorities and say to them, you can't do this, you, you've got to stop hitting areas that you've previously told people are safe? And, and if so, what kind of response do you get? Look, we are in constant contact with the um, Israeli army. Uh, we provide the coordinates of all of these protected um, sites, all of these UN uh, facilities that are under a UN flag, and particularly those facilities, the, the big schools that are sheltering internally displaced people. So, A, we're very clear about where these locations are, you know, and then at times of a period of fighting in that area, we are literally in hourly contact um, with the Israeli army to uh, reinforce the fact that these are protected sites and try and work with them uh, to ensure that... Uh, Adequate precaution is taken in those areas where there are civilians uh, taking shelter. Do, do you get... Um, is that... It doesn't look like adequate precaution has been taken, though, right? I mean, are you... Well, 
satisfied with, with the response you get from the Israelis in that kind of conversation? So we are getting assurances from the Israelis, but that is not followed up. And, you know, what's very clear yesterday, um, and this is, an, you know, this is not what, you know, an isolated incident. This is happening all across Khan Yunus and has been the pattern in other parts of Gaza, you know, that there's been a disproportionate toll on the civilian population as fighting has come into these areas. So on the one hand, we're getting assurances that civilians will be protected, uh, but then civilians are losing their lives and are being injured uh, in the course of these hostilities. All right, thanks so much, Thomas White. It's always good talking to you. Thanks for making the time there.